One thing I would want to do, probably have a bottle of Penfolds Grange, um, and be and 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 be have a big table of delicious things and all of my loved ones around the table and just have a really loud delicious meal with everybody that kind of went on and on and on for hours um, there'd probably be a dance party um, but I would just find yeah as long as the people I love could come back to me that's very selfish come to me Well, the actual end of the world in the film, uh, when we shot it, it was Nathan and I on a wobble beach in, in a wobble board in, uh, in Perth. Um, so we're standing on the beach in this sort of weird uh, earthquake contraption, sort of clinging on to each other for dear life, but pretending there was a fireball coming towards us. So that was actually more of a giggle than it should have been. Um, we were both just kind of hoping that the special effects uh, would, would work, because otherwise we'd look quite ridiculous. Uh, standing on a wobble board. I would hope that I come to a point of acceptance in the way that she does. I think she's very at peace with herself. I think it would take me a little bit longer to be so at peace with myself and at peace with my uh, mortality in that way. Um, but I would just hope at the end that I was accepting and that I was calm and that everything was okay. You don't want to be you know, facing death and being terrified, I guess. You know, finding peace before it happened would be all, all, all anyone could ask for, I would think. Mm. Oh, he's brilliant and just so calming and supportive. I, mean, I, knew, I knew Zach because we went to the same university a few years ago, um, but we were a couple of years apart, so I'd never worked with him at all. Um, and then got his script through when I was in LA and just like, just loved this script and was so affected by it. From, from the minute we started rolling into camera, like we, Nathan and I just had like a great time and, and Zach was so sure about what he wanted. Like, uh, I don't know if you'd like me to tell you, but a, a, a few of the, the, the scenes, like, you know, they'd, we did one take on something and he'd be satisfied and moved on and so, you know, just about trusting him and whether you know knowing that he got what he wanted but yeah we'd do a take and he'd be done and you know move, move on um, because it just kind of worked very easily which it doesn't always happen that way he's a cheeky monkey generally in life um, well because we I was the first uh, week of the shoot so he kind of we started out together and then he went on this massive journey that I had no a, no part in, which is why it was kind of amazing to see the film and see like, oh, that's what you guys were doing for the rest of your time there. Um, but just, he just brings this amazing positive energy. So we would, you know, on a lunch break, we'd just take a towel and go sit on the beach and make friends with like these local kids um, and just tell stories. And But we did giggle our way through a lot of it. I think you've got to you've got to be able to giggle through something so bleak as the end of the world, otherwise you're going to take yourself too seriously and you're going to, it's just going to be completely inaccessible anyway. They would be sand, wine and naked.